There was a stark new report on household debt tonight. A record 7 million Americans are at least 90 days behind on car loan payments. Dean Reynolds has more on rising debt and growing struggles. Elena Frierson painfully recalls the day her car was repossessed. Devastating. We were devastated. I was devastated. I was A city devastated. worker in Fort Worth, Texas, she fell months behind on her loan payments when her husband got sick and was unable to show up for his job. Bankruptcy followed. They eventually got their car back, but only after a court-ordered debt consolidation plan was implemented. If you don't have any money saved, yeah, you're screwed. You're out on the street or you're walking. According to the New York Federal Reserve, there are now a million more people behind on payments by three months than there were in 2010, when delinquency rates were at their worst. Economist Austin Goolsbee is a former Obama White House official now at the University of Chicago. He says millions of car loan delinquencies, even for subprime high-risk borrowers, is a warning sign. Is this a canary in the coal mine kind of thing? Is this something that when this happens, you go, hmm, we got to watch this? Yeah, they, it's, it's in the category of things that make you go, hmm. I don't see how you could see a number like that and think, oh, everything's just going honky-dory for everybody, uh, and we don't need to worry about it. The New York Fed says a large part of this problem involves borrowers under 30 with low credit scores just the kind of people who may find it hard to buy a car and pay off student loans at the same time. Jeff? All right, Dean Reynolds, thank you.